Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today I'm starting my long-term rebuild in Madden 20 and I am selecting the New England Patriots. Yes, they're my favorite team, but that's not why I'm doing this. Everybody wonders what's going to happen to the Patriots when Belichick's gone. Brady, Edelman, Hightower, McCourty, all their older players, and Brady always seems to retire after one year, so we have to worry about that right away. But let's go to the settings. So here are my settings. We're playing on all Madden. We have salary cap on, superstar abilities are on, injuries on, practice squad stealing is on, player progression, end of the season, career clock off, 50 minute quarters, and we have auto weekly training and auto injury management. Everything else is made. Here are my XP sliders I'm going to be using the same as Madden 19. They seem to work out in the rebuilds I've done so far. So if you didn't watch my Madden 19 long-term rebuild series, it goes like this. I'm the GM. I could sign whoever I want free agency, trade for anybody on the trade block, draft whoever I want to draft. It's not going to be super, super realistic, but it's not going to be a fantasy style rebuild. So say when Brady retires, I can't trade for, let's just say Patrick Mahomes, trade whoever I want for him. It's just not going to be like that. This series is going to go over many, many seasons. So we just have to build long term, not short term. We're not going to do that. I split this series up into two videos. One comes out on Tuesday. One comes out on Thursday. The Tuesday video, we check out the team, the overalls, the contracts, everything involved with that. And then we sim the season, but we super sim four games. And we hop into a drive in those games if it's close. If it's a blowout, we're losing badly. We're not going to do anything like that. Then at the end of the season, we're going to see if we make the playoffs. Look at the standings, the stats, the awards. Look around the league a little bit. Then if we are in the playoffs, we will super sim those games as well. And then that'll be the end of that video. On Thursday, the second video will come out. We'll re-sign our own players that are going to be free agents. We'll sign the regular free agents, go week by week with that. And then we're going to set up our draft board, look at all the players we scouted, align them the way we want to, see who we think we're going to get with whatever pick we have. And then we're going to go to the draft and go pick by, not pick by pick like the whole draft, but go to all our picks. Maybe we trade up, maybe we trade back, maybe we trade till next year. Everything involved with that. But we are going to do one season right now. So let's check out the Patriots. Their starting quarterback is obviously Tom Brady. 96 overall. Superstar X Factor. He's 42 years old. He'll most likely be gone after this season. The backup, Brian Hoyer. 64 overall. Norman Development. He'll be gone as well. They just drafted Jared Stidham. 57 overall. Norman Development. 22 years old. 87 throw power. 70 deep accuracy. 69 medium. 77 short. I just don't think he's the answer long term. Our starting running back, James White, 86 overall, star development, 27 years old. The backup, Sony Michelle, 84 overall, star development. He had a great rookie season. Now, I think Rex Burkhead is expendable. 76 overall, norm development, 29 years old. And I only say that because they drafted Damian Harris. He has two years left. So we are going to put him on the trade block, see if we can get anything for him. I just think that makes sense. But Harris is a 69 overall, norm development, 22 years old. 76 break tackle, 87 speed, 88 acceleration, 78 agility. Let's put Burkhead on the trade block before we forget. There we go. Our number one receiver, Julian Edelman. 88 overall, superstar development, 33 years old. I'll probably keep him till he retires. Our number two guy, Demarius Thomas, 82 overall, normal development. We also have Dorsett, 77 overall, normal development. Inman, 74 overall, normal development. But they just drafted Nikhil Harry, 74 overall, hidden development, 21 years old. 88 speed and acceleration, 84 catching, 83 catch of traffic. I think he'd become our number two guy after the season because I might get rid of Thomas. We'll have to wait and see. Our starting tight end is Benjamin Watson. Now, I know he's suspended, but we're not going to worry about that. 82 overall, normal development, 38 years old. I imagine he'll retire after the season. Our starting right tackle, Marcus Cannon. 80 overall, normal development, 31 years old. He's not the answer long term. Our starting right guard, Shaq Mason. 88 overall, star development, 26 years old, perfect. Starting center, David Andrews. 84 overall, star development, 27 years old, great. We have Joe Thune at left guard. 84 overall, star development, 26 years old. And our starting left tackle is Isaiah Wynn. 73 overall, star development, 23 years old, did not play last year. 87 strength, 78 run block, 77 pass block. They did draft a few guys. Kajust right here, 61 overall, normal development, 22 years old. Also, Froholt, I think that's how you say this. 61 overall, Norm Development, 23 years old. I don't really know if they're going to step up, but on offense, we don't have to worry about much other than tight end and probably some receivers eventually and obviously quarterback when Brady's gone. But let's go check out the defense. Also, we do have Josh Gordon on the team. I'm not sure how to get him off injury reserve or whatever that symbol is at the very end. So we will play next year, which will be fine. Our number one corner is Stephon Gilmore. He's a 94 overall superstar X Factor, 28 years old. He had an incredible season last year. Our number two guy is Jason McCourty, 85 overall star development, but he is 32 years old. 
Our number three guy, Jonathan Jones, 76 overall, Noma development. JC Jackson, 75 overall, star development. That's awesome. And the newly drafted Jawan Williams, 70 overall, Noma development, 21 years old. 87 speed, 73 man, 69 zone, 68 play rec. Hopefully, he can be a number three, number four guy eventually. Our starting right end is John Simon. 74 overall, Norm Development, 28 years old. His backup, the newly drafted Chase Winovich with Hidden Development. 69 overall, 23 years old. 72 power moves, 61 finesse, 85 speed, 89 acceleration. I'm so excited to see what he does on the Patriots. Our starting defensive tackle, Lawrence Guy. 82 overall, Norm Development. Starting left end, Michael Bennett. 85 overall, star development. Our starting strong safety, Patrick Chung, 82 overall star development. We also have Harmon, 75 overall star development. Our starting left outside linebacker, Kyle Van Noy, 77 overall star development. He's 29, 28. That's not bad. We also have Jamie Collins, 73 overall norm development. At middle linebacker, we have Bentley, 74 overall norm development. Robert, 71 overall norm development. Hightower, 83 overall star development. And then we have Devin McCourty, 89 overall star development. He's also 32 years old. But we do have Duke Dawson, 67 overall, Norm Development, 23 years old, 90 speed, 71 zone, 68 tackle, 69 pursuit. So on defense, we have to worry about free safety. Quarters, I think, is fine. Left end eventually. I mean, right outside linebacker, left outside linebacker, strong safety. I mean, we're going to have a ton of holes on this team eventually. I think year one, though, we should be fine. So let's start super simming some games. Now we have it on fast sim just so we can get through this game. It is 15 minute quarters. They are up 10 to nothing. 10 to 7, though. So if it is close in the fourth quarter, we will hop in. It is 14 to 10, 14 to 13, 21 13. Let's see if they can score again. I would like to hop in if we can. 21 to 16. Let's see. One more score. Oh, man. We're up by 12. Oh, wait. No, no. We're going to win this game. It's fine. Let's just go to the end. Check out the stats. See how we did. We won our first game 28 to 23 against the Steelers. Sorry, Mike Tomlin. I know you just got a one-year contract extension because you're not that great in my opinion, but whatever. Let's take a look at the stats. Tom Brady, 23 for 33, 294, one touchdown, one interception, a 69 completion rating. Roethlisberger, 16 for 32, 226 with a touchdown. White, 79 yards, two touchdowns. Connor, 83 yards with a touchdown. Sonny Michelle with a touchdown. Receiving. Switzer, 96 yards with a touchdown. Watson, 66. James White, 87. Thomas, 56. Edelman, 44. Bryant, 41. Okay, interesting. Dorsett, 18. We have 37 for Juju, but nothing too, too crazy. We are here in week seven playing against the two and three New York Jets, and we're five and one. We have a tie ball game at the end of the first, though. We're up 10 to 7. They're up 14 to 10. Do we hop in right now, maybe? You know what? I think we'll do that. Who has the ball? I'm going to have to go to change of possession. Yes. Okay. We're down by 7. So let's actually hop. Yeah, let's go to. We're going to have to go to very slow. And we'll go change of possession. Let's see what Brady can do from the sideline. Seven minutes left in the third. Down by 7. They're going to hand it off to believe James White there. Yes. Now we have a second and six. Please don't lose to the Jets. I know they're getting better, but just don't do this to me. Nice pass. That is two. Demarius Thomas going down the sideline out at the 43-yard line. You got to love to see it right there. Unnecessary dance, but I'll take it anyways. First and 10 on the 43. Brady, take your time. No need to rush. Oh, a short pass to Edelman. And he got how many yards? Four yards. That's not terrible. Second and six. 543 left in the third. Play action fake to James White. Brady's running back for some reason. Intercepted. No. James White does bring him down though. Man. I can't believe that. Let's go back up to fast speed. They are up 24 to 10, 24 to 17. Tie ball game. Hey, man. Actually, I think we're a little bit too far out, aren't we? Let's go change the possessions. So we have, oh, we have the ball and we're down. I think we're going to have to hop in again. Maybe we went a little bit too early before, but that's fine. Let's go change the possessions. We are down by three with 2.19 left in the fourth. This makes up for not being in a drive in the first game. 
Ooh, nice pass through. I believe that is Dorsett. Yes, it is. Brady is 30 for 44, 389, but he has two interceptions. Hate to see that. We just hit that two-minute warning. This is when Brady plays his best, so we don't have to worry about too much. Where are we? We're on the 39-yard line, so not much more to go. Where is he going to go? He's going deep. Cut. Oh, dropped by is that Demarius Thomas again. Can't see his number exactly. We're running out of time, Brady. I need you to make some plays. There we go. Wide open door set across the middle down to the 18-yard line. Pretty good. Now we're on the 18. No huddle. 11-second runoff. Okay. Oh, nice catch. Yes, I wasn't sure. I know it goes to the receiver right there. We are on the two-yard line. A minute 15 left. Get it in that end zone. Touch. Dorsett. You can't be dropping that right there. The game is on the line. Look at his X Factor. It is glowing right now. That is awesome. A pitch to James White. He's going to get stopped at the six-yard line. Let's not go into overtime. That's all I'm saying. We don't need that right now. Wide open. Nope. Oh, not going to be caught. Is that Matt Lacoste? I think it is. That's so, so disappointing. We're just going to tie the ball game up, go into overtime, unless Goskowski misses by a mile. Let's go. We don't want slow speed. We want fast. We want to go to the end of the game. We are in overtime. We're not going to hop into this right here. Who is going to... They beat us 30-17. to 17. Man. I hate for that to be our second loss of the season. Brady, 35 for 55, 453, one touchdown. He threw another interception. You can't be doing that. Darnold, 21 for 35, 253, two touchdowns, one interception. Le'Veon Bell, 157. James White, 61 with a touchdown. Michelle with a touchdown. Rimkowski with a touchdown. Receiving, Thomas, 11 for 139. Watson, 8 for 88 with a touchdown. Herndon, 8 for 90 with a touchdown. Edelman, 6 for 82. Anderson, 5 for 67 with a touchdown. Dorsett, 75 yards. Nothing else. Now, we are going to negotiate with Tom Brady just in case he leaves. 96 overall, 42 years old. I'm going to increase that a little bit more. See if he takes that. Good, good, good. McCourty will worry about later. Thruny will bring back. Josh Gordon, I'll definitely bring back. Let's go for 8.4. What did I do? Deal maker. The salary needs improvement. Resign a 90. Okay. Didn't know that was an achievement. Josh Gordon, I definitely want to bring back. Hopefully someday he'll get unsuspended. 18.7. Good, good, good. Thomas, no. Watson, no. Van Noy, eventually. Dorsett. Depends on how he does. Jonathan Jones, I should bring back. Let's see if he takes four, 2.9. He's going to stay with the team. Good. Inman, Sheldon, Collins. Roberts, I'll bring back eventually. All right, let's hop into the next game. We did not have to go far. We are in week eight playing against the Cleveland Browns in New England. That's good. They are up seven to nothing, seven to three. Oh man, I feel like they're going to beat us very easily. 21 to three. Now I know the Browns are good, but I thought we could do a little bit better than this. There's no point in hopping in this game. We're not even close at this point. And I feel like Brady's going to have an atrocious game. I can already see it now. We lost 21 to three. I mean, that's embarrassing, but at the same time, they only scored 21. Baker Mayfield, 20 for 36, 272, two touchdowns. Brady, 23 for 33, 248, two interceptions. I'm almost scared to look at his stats at the end of the season. Hunt, 122 with a touchdown. White, 43, Chubb, 16. Receiving, Watson, 6 for 41. Edelman, 6 for 64. Hunt, 4 for 52. Landy, 4 for 68 with a touchdown. Callaway, 4 for 38 with a touchdown. Thomas, 4 for 55. Beckham, 3 for 34, but nothing too crazy. We are at the midseason mark, so I do want to look at the injuries. Bennett's out for five more weeks. Josh Gordon, 22 more weeks. And James White is out for eight more weeks. Okay, we could definitely deal with that. We are 7 and 5, playing against the 7 and 5 Kansas City Chiefs, and we are up 21 to 10, 28 to 10. And we're not going to hop into this game either. I'm assuming this is a fight for the playoffs, maybe the number one seed at this point. But we're up 31 to 10, 31 17. They are coming back, but the game is over. Another game we're not going to be able to hop in. Definitely in future seasons, we'll be able to do that because our team won't be as good. Let's check out the stats. 
Patrick Mahomes, 25 for 40, two to our 323, one touchdown, one interception. Brady, 24 for 37, 263, four touchdowns. Awesome. Michelle, 123, great. Williams, 27, a touchdown for McKissick, a touchdown for Sherman. Receiving Watkins, 7 for 84. Ellington, 6 for 109. Watson, 6 for 54 with a touchdown. McKissick with a touchdown, 3 for 39, two touchdowns for Edelman. Nothing else. Oh, no, we have a touchdown for Thomas, but nothing else too crazy. We made the playoffs by winning our division, going 11-5. and five. We didn't get the first round by, though. The Bills, 7-8-1, and one, the Jets, 6-9-1, and one, and the Dolphins, 2-14. and 14. Who got the first round buys? The Ravens and the Colts. Okay, the Raiders made it. The Chargers make sense. The Browns make sense. What else? The Chiefs, 8-8. Eight eight. The Texans, 8-8. Eight eight. Let's take a look at the stats, see how Brady did. 4,600 yards, 33 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. He had a lot of interceptions. James White, 7, 10, 5 touchdowns. Michelle, 6, 15 with 8. Burke had 98 yards, 2 touchdowns. Harris with 1. Receiving. Edelman, almost 1,100 yards, 9 touchdowns, 81 catches. Thomas, 961, 5 touchdowns. Watson, 907 with 8. Dorsett, 669, 3 touchdowns. Michelle with, or White with 2, Michelle with 4. Lacoste with 1, Burke had with 1. On defense, Van Noy, 98 tackles, Chuck, 97. Sack totals, seven for Van Noy and Hightower, four and a half for Bennett, three for Guy and Simon. Where is, um, is he not here? Where's Winovich? Wow. Winovich only had one tackle. That's not good. Interceptions, Van Noy with two, McCordy, McCordy, and Gilmore with two. One for Hightower, Collins, and Jones. Are we going to have any safeties or defensive touchdowns? No, we're not. Yearly awards, Andrew Luck with the MVP. Phillip Rivers, Breeze, Ryan, Newton. No Tom Brady. Trubisky beat him out. Mariota beat him out. Coach of the Year, Ron Rivera. We are there, number eight. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Brady has to be up here now. Okay, number nine. That makes sense. Lamar Jackson's up there. Josh Allen's up there. Defensive Player of the Year, Kyle Van Noy. Okay. Wasn't expecting that whatsoever. J.J. Watt. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Marquise Brown. We have Campbell up here. Armstead's up here. No Patriots. Renfro's up there, though. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Devin Bush. We have Wallace. We have Oliver. Williams is up there. No Patriots. Wasn't really expecting that, though. Let's go check out our XP. See what we got. I mean, we're an 80 overall team. We should be able to beat the Chargers, I hope. Brady didn't get any. We have three for win, which is good. Few in the other offensive linemen. What about Kajus? Kajus got three. Fordholt got three. That's good. Harry, still hidden development, but five XP points. Awesome. So he's going to be, what, our number three guy now? Or what did, uh, what did our second one? Yeah, so he's going to be our number three guy. On defense, two for Roberts, one for Bentley. Gilmore didn't get any. Col McCordy didn't get any. Jonathan Jones got two. JC Jackson with two. Williams got three, which is awesome. Winovich with two will be a 71. That's still not great, but not bad. Let's upgrade our team. And then see if we can beat the Los Angeles Chargers, who are 10 and 6. I certainly, certainly hope so. It should just be easy. Let's advance. Actually, no, that's right. We're going to hop into the game. I'm thinking this is a realistic rebuild. And here we go. Can we beat the Los Angeles Chargers? We are up 7 to 3. End of the first quarter, up 14 to 3. Are we just going to blow them out, make it nice and easy? 21 to 3. That's certainly what it's looking like. 28 to 3. This game's all but over. It's just like last year in the playoffs. 28 to 10. Woohoo! 28 to 13. So getting a little bit closer. 28 to 20. If they score again. Oh, no, we beat them. I was going to say, if they score, I'll hop into a drive. But I'm not going to do that when we we're up by three touchdowns basically the whole game. Rivers, 35 for 58, 366 for the touchdown. Brady, 21 for 29, 266, three touchdowns. James White, 68 yards with a touchdown. Gordon, 79, who might get traded. Rivers with a touchdown. Benjamin, 9 for 65. Henry, 9 for 96 with a touchdown. Williams, 8 for 70. Cantrell, 6 for 100. Edelman, 6 for 89. Two touchdowns. Makes sense. White, 5 for 70. Touchdown for Lacoste. Nothing else. Let's hop into the next game. Really? The Defensive Player of the Year, Kyle Van Noy, is out for the rest of the playoffs. That's terrible. We are playing against the 11-5 Indianapolis Colts, and we have already scored. I have a good feeling we're going to hop into this game. But I could be wrong. Is it going to be? Oh, it's 14-3. Okay. 21-3. 28-3. So maybe I'm completely wrong. 31-3. to three. Yeah, we're not hopping into this one. That's so disappointing. I thought this would be a close game, but I suppose it makes sense. It is the Colts after all. We have won the game 41-10. to 10. What an embarrassment. Brady, 24 for 32. 309, four touchdowns, one interception. 
Luck, 23 for 39, 200 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. You can't be doing that. James White, 111 with a touchdown. Mack, 83 yards. Sony Michelle with 27. Funches, 8 for 61. Watson, 6 for 72. Edelman, 5 for 92 with a touchdown. Rogers, 5 for 44 with a touchdown. James White, 59 yards. Thomas, 40 with a touchdown. Touchdown for Lacoste. Touchdown for Dorsett. All right, let's hop into the conference championship, shall we? We're in the conference championship playing against the Baltimore Ravens, and we're already off to a girly lead. It is 7-0, 7-3, 14-3. Are we going to make it to the Super Bowl without any challenge whatsoever? Sounds about right. 21-10, 28-10. I really want to hop into a drive, too. There's just no point. 35-17 with four minutes left. We're going to the Super Bowl. We won 35-24. I mean, man, oh, man, put up a challenge. Jackson, 32 for 46, 333, three touchdowns, one interception. Brady, 23 for 33, 266, three touchdowns, one interception, same thing. James White, 104, two touchdowns, Dixon, 82. Hill, 19, and Sony Michelle has six. Mark Andrews, 11 for 124. Willie Sneed, 8 for 83, two touchdowns. Edelman, 7 for 95 with a touchdown. Thomas, 89 yards. Dixon, 57. Watson, 43 with a touchdown. Marquise Brown, 4 for 56. Touchdown for Seth Roberts. Touchdown for Dorsett. So I guess we'll just hop into the Super Bowl. The matchup Roger Goodell is dying to have. The Packers versus the Patriots. We're up 7-3. They were 9-7 on the season. Please don't blow out another team. I really want to hop into a drive. We are up 17-3, 20-3. They're really not going to... Okay, they got, they're up to 10. We're still up by... Seven. We're up by... The game's over. We are Super Bowl champions in our first year. Obviously, I kind of expected to make the playoffs. Not win the Super Bowl, but it should drop off from here. Rodgers. Or no, Brady. 27 for 38. 335. Three touchdowns. Rodgers, 24 for 37. 270. One touchdown. One interception. White, 107. Williams, 35 with a touchdown. Michelle, 10 with a touchdown. Edelman, 11 for 156. Wow, oh wow. Valdez, 9 for 77. Adam, 7 for 87 with a touchdown. Thomas, 68 with a touchdown. Graham, 59. Lacoste with a touchdown. James White with a touchdown, of course. Now, the moment of truth. Is Tom Brady going to retire? I mean, I imagine he will. Here we go. Is he gone? He is long gone. So, Brady's gone. Benjamin Watson's gone. Anybody else? We have Hightower, the McCordys. Everything else is fine. Oh, no. Van Noy is gone. Did he? Oh, no. He's at the bottom. So he's injured. Okay. That's fine. I thought he was gone. I was going to say, I want to bring him back. But that will be it for this episode. The next episode will come out on Thursday. It'll be the offseason, resigning our players, regular free agency, setting up our draft board, everything involved with that. So if you liked the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.